Okay, so now we are going to proceed to check the aircraft before we proceed with the flight. That's the walk around we do every day before every flight. So basically we just check there is no obstructions, there is nothing that is not supposed to be there. And uh, over here we check the exhaust, we go and check the fuselage, we check the negative the pressure valve, the positive, all the static ports. There are not obstructed or any debris or damage. In this side of the aircraft, we check the crew oxygen. We make sure that uh, it's on the green, so that means our oxygen is good to go for the flight. In here, we check our props, pit up tube. There is also no obstructions in there. Our nose, no scratch or damage. We check our nose wheel. The wheels also are not damaged. The nose is strut. On the right side of the plane, we just check the same thing. We check our heat ups and our crew. The statics are not obstructed, no damage. We check our engines. No fluids uh, dropping or the ports are also non obstructed. We check the engine, we check the, bla the blades are fine. The engine nacelle. Checking the wings. We check our navigation lights. They are good, they are working. We have green lights over the right wing, and then on the left wing, we will see the red lights. From the behind, we will check the statics and also the position lights. We check our flaps and our alerons. Check our jettisons is not obstructed in case for whatever reason you have to dump some fuel. And we will check also the back of the engine. And in here we are gonna check the main gear. We check our tires. And from the back side things that are for our brakes. We make sure even though we check in the flight deck that we have our safety pin here there is no safety pin so we just make sure. We check the entire fuselage and now we are gonna check the stabilizer and the elevator. Our positioning lights are also working. Our static because the APU is running and now we will check exactly the same thing we check on the other side Good morning, uh, my name is Captain Khaled Al Ibrahim with me today Good morning, my name is Carolina and uh, a Senior First Officer in Qatar Airways So today we'll be flying to uh, Maldives our flight time for today is uh, 4 hours and 10 minutes We'll be going up to 37,000 feet, and uh, the routing we're taking today is going to be uh, over, uh, we'll initially fly over UAE, and then over Muscat, and then most of the flight is going to be over the, uh, first over the Arabian Sea, and then into the Indian Ocean, all the way to Maldives. The so, picture paints a thousand words, that's, that's what it's going to look like, uh, that's, that's our routing for today. Uh, the weather, we're expecting good weather for today, and uh, it, it might be a bit rainy over there when we get there with approximately 28, 29 degrees. I have the performance, Carolina, when yeah. I'm ready. Let, Let me, me put here, and we can cross-check that. I didn't... So, what, I'll, I'll read you the top part. Yeah. So, what I put is uh, Boeing 777 300ER, Boca. Uh, OTHH 3 4 right, Alpha 2 dry, tail 5, we have some varying winds, uh, 33 degrees, 1008, rating optimum, flaps optimum, AC on, anti ice off, 25% of the CG, 
and uh, the weight is 257 tons. 257. I will calculate now. Okay. I got the numbers. I'm ready to cross check. Okay, so the results are flaps 5, extraction 1000, AGL, DTO2 87.2. Selected temperature is 52, V1 167, VR 170, V2 171, VR30 151. Checked. And engine out procedure is special EOSID at 4 DME right turn to GINOT. And we take out the whole 246 left turn. The pre flight checklist, please. Pre flight checklist? Yes. Pre flight, oxygen. Test 100%. Tested 100%. And the flying instrument. I have a heading of 245 QNH1008 reading 30 feet. You got 245 on the heading with QNH1008 reading 30 feet as well. Pre flight checklist is complete. Sure. This is part of our uh, initial preparation. So, right now we've uh, calculated the performance of, of the aircraft for our departure. Uh, this is our expected performance with the weight and weather that. Uh, we have right now. Okay, so I'm just uh, request uh, that I need this is ASK 38 Yankee, uh, departure Doha to uh, Maldives, 80s was uh, Romeo, and we are at the gate Echo 15. Sure. So this is just a more convenient way for us and the ATC of doing things. Basically, we, we avoid uh, too much congestion on the frequencies and uh, we, we send messages to them and they, and they get back to us also via messages. Mm -hmm. So it just keeps everything a little more. So it's standby process, just a standby. And we got our clearance. Okay. OTHH, PDC 506, Authority 8 Yankee, cleared mm -hmm. to Victor Romeo, Mike Mike, off of 3 4 right, via Bento 2 Echo, squad. 2616. 2616 six. Two, six, six is set. And the frequency is 120225. Right. I'm just accepting this. Right. And I copy here. So, what just happened now is uh, ATC got back to our request to them and uh, they, they let us know on our uh, the departure routing that we're going to take and the initial frequencies that they want us to call and uh, the squawk, which is basically our identifier with what they see on the radar screen. So clearance confirmed. Checked. Okay, so okay. that is as per the FMC. When are we ready, Carolina? I'll give you a briefing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the FMC has been checked by both of us. We validated everything, all the restrictions, waypoints. Uh, We've checked the no times, we're familiar the no times out of Doha. There's uh, nothing affecting us on, on our taxi routing or departure for, for today. We'll start off with the taxi routing off of chart uh, 20-9 Charlie, effective 8th of September. Check. We are parked on Echo 15, expecting to push back facing uh, south on Delta. And then uh, making a left turn on Echo 4, right on Bravo, and uh, we planned we plan for full length, right? Okay. Yeah. We, well, Calculated the cabin by will, Alpha 2. Yeah. Uh, that's our expected plan, uh, taxi routing. For the emergency brief, any malfunctions below 80 knots will stop. Between 80 and V1 will stop for any fire this year loss of engine thrust, anything that will not let the aircraft fly safely. If the call is stop, if I will call stop, I'll bring the aircraft to a complete stop by closing uh, thrust levers, disconnecting auto throttles, using reverses consistent with the problem, max RTO or manual braking is required. You will? I'll monitor your action, verify the operation of the RTO or your manual braking. I'll call for a speed break up or not up, status of the reverser, 16 knot deceleration of the aircraft, and advise the tower we're stopping in the runway. Once all of that is done, I set the parking brake and make a PA attention crew at stations. From there, we, we uh, analyze the situation, carry out any memory items, any non-normal checklist, and we make a decision together on what to do next. If the call is go, I will continue the takeoff. No actions below 400 feet are then selecting no ATM if required. We raise the gear, cancel any oral warnings. At or above 200 feet, I'll engage the autopilot. If we have an engine out, on departure, 
We fly the 20-7 dated 30th of September 2022. For 3-4 right, we cross check with the OPT and the FMC and the chart, all three of them match. At 4 DME, we do a right turn heading towards uh, G0, and then we take up the hold. 246 left turn holds. Check. MSA is 2,300 feet, and uh, if we do decide to come back for an immediate landing, we are overweight, so we take that into consideration. All right. Uh, that's it on the emergency. Is there anything else? Uh, no, you like cover all the emergency. Okay. For the normal departure, we got our clearance already from ATC. Bundu to Echo. On chart 20-3, Golf effective 8th of September. Check. Departure frequency, once air is going to be 124.775. Elevation is 13 feet. Transition altitude is 13,000 feet. Let's cross check. Let's check. RMP1, we have that. Remain on tower frequency after departure and report passing 1,000 feet. Expect to be transferred to uh, Doha Approach East. On initial contact with Doha Approach, include designated SIT. And uh, warning due to interaction with other routes, level restrictions unless cleared by ATC must be strictly adhered to. Sure. So we both cross-checked both the points with the constraints. Our initial altitude for today is 4,000 feet. And that's set on the MCP. And it is set there also at uh, Surga. Check. That's all on the charts. Terrain, there's no significant terrain today on our departure. We're heading towards the sea. Uh, the weather is fine. It's nothing uh, special out of Doha today. Operationally, there's also nothing special out of here. We do have some MELs, but it does not affect our performance and our project that and so have you. Uh, threats for today, it is busy, so call sign confusion, confusion. Is, is one of them. In case any either one of us are not clear with the instruction or if we if there's any confusion on who the instruction is for, just say again, say again, say again until until we are both happy with it. And uh, that's it, Carolina. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, nothing to mention. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. My name is Khalid Al Ibrahim and beside me here on the flight deck today is Senior First Officer Carolina. On behalf of Qatar Airways and all the crew, I'd like to welcome you on board this Boeing 777 QR674 bound to Maldives. We're expecting to push back in a few minutes from now, and our expected flight time for today is 4 hours and 10 minutes. The onward weather forecast for today's flight is good. However, we recommend you keep your seatbelts fastened at all times when seated, just in case of any unexpected turbulence. We're expecting fair weather in Maldives when we arrive with an approximate temperature of 28 degrees and light rains. I'll update you with the latest information about the weather conditions just before we begin our descent. Looking after your safety and comfort in the cabin today, our cabin services director, Mr. Steven, along with cabin senior Hina and our award-winning team. I wish you a very pleasant journey on board this Qatar Airways flight. Thank you. 4.30th of September, Doha Malay, Bravo Oscar Charlie, cruise 15, is correct? Check. Zero fuel has dropped a bit. It is 187.8. 187, check. Takeoff fuel 67.5, 68.4, the taxi, that's correct. Takeoff weight is 255.3. Check. Max zero fuel is 29.7. 29.7, check. 27.7 in the Let's FMC. Mac Tau is 34.3. Check. Water is 50%. And no talk, yes. All right, so I will print a copy. So you are happy with the same speeds? I'm happy. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. 52. 52. 52. That gives us 88%. Let's check. 87.9, 87.2. Flaps? Five. 5 CG 3434 34 V1 167 167 VR 170 170 V2 171 171 We do have a clearance Elna Vina 336 4000 Check Thrust reaction 1000 Extraction 1000 Engine out 1000 We're 30 
151. 151, check. Check. Thank you. Thank you. Ground of attack. Hi, Grant. Uh, Captain, uh, bypass been installed. Uh, clear to pressurize now. Okay, pressurizing hydraulics. All right, clear to press. Before start check. Please. Before start check, please. Before start, gear pins and covers. Removed. Light deck door. Closed and locked. MCP. Of uh, V2171, heading 336, 4000 feet. Checked. Take of speeds. V1167, VR170, V2171. Check. See the brief light. Completed. Trim. 3.5 units, zero, zero. Check. Taxi and take off briefing. Completed. And cabin door is arm. Check. All right. Ready to push? Ready. Right on Alpha 4 and then right on Bravo, hold short of taxi at Alpha 1. Okay, left on Charlie, right on Alpha 4, right again on Bravo to hold short. Taxiway Alpha 1, Qatari 36 Whiskey. Sorry, 5-5 five, five uniform, give way to company triple seven traffic left to right on Charlie and Taxi Charlie, holding short of Taxiway Alpha 1. Give way to the triple seven on Charlie and then Charlie Alpha Alpha Alpha, sorry, I don't know. Hamad, uh, very good morning, this is Qatari, a junkie with information, Romeo, on Echo 15, ready to push on star. Sorry, a Yankee on the ground, good morning to you, push and start as approved, facing south on Delta. Facing south on Delta, approved, Qatari, a Yankee. Uh, copy it, parking brake released, commencing the pushback now, facing south on Delta. Okay, Time out, 521. Uh, go ahead. Shock south at 521. Uh, copy, Captain. Ground of HIDAC, uh, clear to start engine as per sequence. Starting right and left in sequence. Copy the uh, right and left sequence. Start right. Start left. Ground starting left. Start left. Ground of HIDAC, uh, push back, computer piece at the parking brake. I beam a contact ground central, one one eight, one Parking brake set. Copy it, parking brake set. Ground from flight deck. Go ahead. Yes, we have uh, two good starts here, clear to disconnect, thank you very much. Uh, copy captain, the final one from right hand side. Copy, bye bye. Okay, bye captain. Bye bye. He's walking away. Okay. Been inside. Checked inside. Further check. Hydraulic pressure primary. Sorry, one six Julia. Taxi Charlie for taxi way Alpha One. It's the one that we got on there. Yeah, taxi so way Charlie for your Alpha One. Taxi one. Checklist is complete. Amat Katari one one seven eight request taxi. Uh, for taxi checklist. Rico. Sorry, uh, one one seven eight. Taxi Echo three. And before taxi, yeah, right. anti ice is auto. Recall is checked. Three, Flight control. Check. And ground equipment. One, one, clear. clear on the left. Clear on the right. Five, before taxi check is complete. One eight five five. 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 Sorry, 8 Yankee, uh, Roger, Taxi, uh, Delta, Echo 4, short of Taxiway, Charlie. Delta, Echo 4, hold short of Taxiway, Charlie, Good are 8 Yankee? So, Delta, so Echo 4, down, left, and, we, and hold we hold short of Charlie. Sure. Clear left. Clear right. Taxi on. Ready now for the climb out. Okay. Clear left. Clear right. Qatari 8, 20, behind the parking, triple seven, line of way, three, four, right, fire, alpha, behind. 
Behind triple seven lineup, I'll wait three for right behind Kutari, eight Yankees. Red bars are gone, three for right, Alpha identified, final is clear. Advice in the crew. Camera out. Six zero Mike, taxi Alpha holding point three four right. Taxi Alpha holding point three four right, Qatari six zero Mike. Sorry, line to the kilo, taxi Alpha one holding point runway three four right. Taxi holding point uh, three four right, taxi Alpha one, Qatari nine zero kilo. Qatari 18 kilo, runway 34 right via Alpha, clear for takeoff, wind is 360 degrees 7 off, head on frequency is 124 decimal 775, bye bye. Via Alpha, three for right, clear for takeoff, air frequency 124775, Qatari 8 junkie. Clear for takeoff, ready. Don't tower, good day, Qatari 801, stop this directly, 34 right. Qatari 9 to the kilo, line up wait, runway 3 for right, intersection Alpha 1. Line up and wait, 3 for right, Alpha 1, Qatari 9 0 kilo. 80 knots. Check. Tower Qatari 8001, establish RMT 3 for right. Qatari 8001, Hamad East, good day, Qatari approach runway 3 for right, QNH 1005, vacate Alpha 5 with the right turn on Bravo, 320 departing ahead. I confirm QNH, Qatari 8005. Qatari 8001, QNH 1008. 1008, vacate Alpha 5, Qatari 8001. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up. I love. Checked. Check. Departure, very good morning. Qatari 8 Junkie crossing 700 for 4,000 on the Bundu 2 Echo. Qatari 8 Junkie, hello, continue climb 1 to 12,000 feet via SID restrictions. 12,000 via the SID restrictions, Qatari 8 Junkie. You said 12,000, please. Restriction at Bundu 
1,000 to go. Sure. Speed Rina Pat. Check. Nine nine two eight. Good morning. We are contact clear to airway November three zero zero to nine two. Climb two flight level three three zero. Climb three three zero. November three zero zero to nine two. Sorry. Nine nine two eight. Three five zero. Check zero two one sixty eight two. Take us below. That's checked. So, in case of an engine out for today at this weight, we will go down 250 in this direction. If we decide to go back, we will go down to 240 and uh, fly the engine out speed. We have about mm -hmm. uh, 22 knots to lose. In case we do need to go lower, uh, sorry, faster or lower for any reason, we can. Uh, we don't have any high terrain about 10,000 today, so we can descend 10,000. And uh, in case of a decompression, we go down straight 10,000. Are you happy with the memory items? Yeah, I'm happy with the memory items. Okay, and then uh, we both do our memory items. On the way down, we do any checklist, our normal checklist. Get the local QNH, inform ATC. Most important, uh, make the Mayday call, let everyone in the area know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we pick an alternate closest to us. Um, one of the threats for today would be the traffic, not really the terrain. Uh, so if we do need to get off the airway because of the traffic, we will, depending if he's right below us, then we turn left or right and get off the airway. Otherwise, we we'll maintain the airway uh, or accordingly according to the airspace we enter. Right now, we have uh, Abu Dhabi in front of us, the bias charger to the left. If needed, for whatever reason, we can go back to Doha, but not too far from there. And uh, later on, once we pass Muscat, we'll be entering the ETAP sector. Mm -hmm. I'll put in the coordinates uh, in a bit. Uh, between Muscat and Mumbai, that'll be the entrance, uh, entry and exit points. And I think the alternate they gave us today is uh, a group. All right. We'll get the weather and everything before we go there. Mm -hmm. As for the forecast, though, everything looks good. No times and weather-wise. Uh, for the comms, we have CPTLC once we enter yep. Oceanic. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's the only special one for today. Yeah, I will set up for Mumbai and I will give it a call to do our circle check. Okay. Um, and... That's it. Anything else you can think of? Anything I missed? No, you covered the engine out and decompression, so okay. nothing much to mention. Thank you. Thank you. So today we were parked on stand number Echo 15, so that will be over there. And uh, the tower uh, gave us a taxi clearance today to go Delta, left turn on Echo 4, then right turn on Charlie and all the way uh, to holding point Alpha for the runway, 3 for right uh, in Doha. After that, yeah, you can see a more clear picture of the airport as well. So basically we did like this, Charlie and Alpha, and then we did a full land takeoff. However, just uh, today for our performance to be conservative, we calculate uh, via Alpha 2. So today we were also okay to do a takeoff from Alpha 2. So we will cover. For the departure today, uh, since we are proceeding to the south, we've been clear for the uh, Bundu to Echo departure. Uh, here we can see the chart ID is 20-3 uh, Golf. 26 August 22, affected from the 8th of September. is an RNAV uh, departure uh, for runway 3 for right. Uh, the transition altitude in Doha is set at 13,000 feet. And that is something that we on ground cross check with our FMC. And from runway 3 for right, 
Um, we turned uh, right and we proceed to Obnots about uh, 1,500. The maximum speed for the turn was 210. Then Serga uh, below 4,000. Lotum, Ivomo, and then Bundu below fly level 25. Initially, the tower he gave us uh, climbed at level 12,000 via the seats. So when they tell you uh, via the seats means you need to respect the 4,000 below by Serga. And then later on, they they told us to just proceed unrestricted climb uh, 12,000. So we could go directly to 12,000 without uh, the need to stop at 4,000. And then uh, they give us a uh, direct to Lotum, which is this position over here. And from there, uh, they the control passes to um, fly level 250 to be below uh, Bundu. So I'll explain a little bit about what we do on a day-to-day -day basis uh, from the time we come into uh, uh, to work. Uh, initially, we normally all the pilots or the crew we meet up at uh, QROC at the dispatch area. Over there, uh, the first officer, the captain, and any other crew that might be involved uh, discuss the flight plan. We go over the flight plan. We go over the weather at the destination, the destination alternates, uh, any on route weather uh, things that we need to discuss. We also go through the NOTAMs. NOTAMs basically is uh, it, it tells you what degradations we have at different airports or what things might not be working the way we want it to work. Um, and, and these are things we need to consider right before we get to the aircraft because a lot of these things uh, comes into play when we make our decision making on how much fuel we want to take, uh, what route we want to take. We might divert from the, the route that was planned for us initially by, uh, by dispatch. And uh, from there on, we head out to the aircraft. We meet up with the cabin crew. We do try to meet them in uh, QROC if we can. But sometimes it's just very busy over there, uh, depending on the time of day. And uh, we don't really get an opportunity to do that every time. So we do always meet them in the aircraft, uh, worst case scenario. Uh, once we come to the aircraft, we take a look at the aircraft, the first officer and the captain. We go through the aircraft technical logbook. We find out what's wrong with the aircraft, uh, anything that needs our attention, anything that uh, we need to discuss with the engineers, and uh, again, make a decision on, on anything that needs to be decided at the time. Uh, once we are aware of everything with, uh, with the aircraft, we then call on to the cabin crew. We give them what's called the joint briefing, which basically we explain to them what the plan for the flight is. So we tell them uh, the flight and the expected weather en route, the expected weather at the destination, the taxi time, things that uh, would affect the uh, uh, things that the cabin crew would be interested in when it comes to customer service, um, it, it helps them plan plan out the flight as well when it comes to when they do their services, when they do their safety checks, uh, etc. Uh, after that, we come back to the flight deck and then like you saw today, uh, one of us goes on the walk around while the other one starts to set up the aircraft for the flight. The walk around, basically, we, we uh, do an external walk around this is for any aircraft, any kind of flying, whether it's commercial, private, whatever kind of flying you're doing. We, we do it. We do a walk around of the external of the uh, aircraft. We take a look at, we, we take an uh, uh, overall look at the aircraft, make sure that there's uh, nothing blocked, that the condition of all the parts are good. Uh, while the other one is in the cockpit, we uh, set up the aircraft for for the ex we set up the aircraft for the expected flight plan, uh, the routing and and the performance and all of that stuff. And then when the other one returns to the cockpit from the from the walk around, we again like we did today we 
Okay. We start getting involved with ATC, uh, start getting clearances from them, and then at, at that point there will be very minor changes that we need to make uh, to the aircraft preparation. So that actually saves us a bit of time when it comes to our preparation. And that, that's why we do it in that sequence. Uh, from there, we have uh, the loadmaster or the uh, the dispatch agent who gives us all the actual loads that we have on, on the aircraft. Uh, what this does is we, we take all of those numbers, so the weights, the CG of the aircraft, uh, things like that, and we uh, the number of passengers, uh, where they're sitting, where they're seated, the cargo load, uh, any kind of special cargo that we might be carrying, uh, and we take all of those things uh, and, and we use them in different ways. So the, the the weights and stuff, we put it into our performance to know what takeoff speeds we're going to use for for that uh, for that uh, day, with the weather conditions and the runway conditions and airport conditions and all of that taken into account. And uh, the other goods that we might uh, be carrying, like on today's flight, is uh, flowers, fruits, vegetables. Sometimes it could be animals. Uh, sometimes medicine, uh, stuff like that. It's not really a dangerous cut, but the reason they bring it to our attention is because some of these things need to be placed in certain locations or, or away from other kind of cargo in, in the cargo holds. And uh, also a lot of these things are temperature regulated. So when they tell us it's loaded and where it's loaded uh, and what temperature they need to uh, maintain. We, we set up all of that so, so all of the cargo is in, in good condition when we land. Then we give uh, each other a briefing on, on the departure itself. Uh, the briefing, we mainly focus on, on, on the departure side of the briefing, uh, if there's any special. Some, some airports that we depart out of have special briefings. Uh, special requirements, so, so we brief on all of those uh, things on, on the ground, just so that both of us are on the same page. Uh, and not only that, it's, it, it's acts as a reminder to the other person as well. Um, yeah, and then that's it, that's, that's the departure after yeah, that. Calculate the performance. Yeah. yeah. So today, as uh, Captain mentioned on ground, uh, from Doha until we arrive to Maldives, we will be crossing different uh, airspaces. Uh, the first one uh, we cross is uh, Doha, and then uh, the, the boundary uh, with the next FIR with um, UAE, with the United uh, Emirates. After that, we will talk, that we are talking right now actually, with uh, Muscat, Oman. And uh, then we will enter over the oceanic and uh, Mumbai airspace. Over there, we have a special uh, pursuit that we need to, to do. So basically, we will contact like 10 minutes before uh, Mumbai uh, by HF. And also uh, here on board, we have this uh, tool, the um, CPDLC. So basically, we will uh, log on uh, here with uh, Mumbai. And over here, we can uh, report uh, where are we, where is our next point. If even if we want to climb or descend, we can do everything uh, through this tool without the need to call to Mumbai. Later on, when we set in, we can uh, show. And then we will be talking for a while with uh, Mumbai, and. Uh, until we enter in the airspace with the Maldives, with its uh, beep go. So this uh, flight is an ETOPS flight, what they call an ETOPS flight, because a uh, big uh, amount of our flying time will be over the water. And uh, ETOPS is basically that we are allowed to go from uh, one airport to another with a maximum distance without having an uh, airport. So later on, uh, Captain uh, put it already uh, in our route or uh, points that basically we need to check or fuel and uh, time, how are we doing? 
in order to see if we can uh, continue and also these uh, e-tops are designed in case we have an engine failure during uh, this time that we are over the water, we decide which uh, airport we can proceed according to the coordinates we have set up in our FMC. So when we are approaching uh, Quito, just 10 minutes before arriving there, we will contact Mumbai in order to get our clearance uh, to proceed. And I can show you how the um, uh, CPDLC works. So now we are like 10 minutes away from Mumbai. Uh, Kital is the entry point. So we will connect uh, CPDLC uh, to talk with Mumbai. So we just need to log on here. And we will log on to Victor Alpha Bravo Foxtrot. That's uh, uh, what we need to select for Mumbai. Foxtrot. And we just need to send and wait for them to connect us. So the reason we do this uh, this way, th th there are two reasons we could do this uh, through CPDLC. W w one of them is uh, to, to avoid uh, too much congestion on the radio. Some airports get very, very busy. and. Uh, they, they want to try and avoid voice over radio, basically, and, uh, to, as much as they can. So they prefer it as well, the ATC. So they prefer us just sending the messages and then they reply back to us. In today's case, though, this would be the other scenario where we connect to CPLC. In today's case, it's a little bit different. Because we're flying over the ocean for most of the flight, uh, crossing over all the way from Muscat to, to India, we won't be in range of uh, radio contact anymore. So uh, our, our best option for today would be uh, CPLC because, like I said, we won't be in, uh, in range of VHF radio. We do have another option, which is HF radio that's for high frequency. Uh, the issue with that is the weather, the location, uh, things like that really affect the frequency. Uh, making it very difficult for them to hear us sometimes and very difficult for us to hear us, them as well. Sometimes we don't even get through to them. Of course, we do have other ways of calling them as well, one of them being SATCOM, which is a satellite communication. Um, but we do try and keep it, uh, do it the most efficient way, which is uh, CPDLC. And uh, yeah, now we sent in the request, we're just waiting for them to get back to us. So ATC com established with Mumbai. So now we are connected with uh, Mumbai. So uh, what uh, we will do now is I will just send them a position report so they know when are we approaching uh, Quito. So we just go here to ATC and we just need to click in position report automatically will show the waypoint that we are tracking to and in this case is the entry point with Mumbai, which is Kital. So we can see here estimating Kital at uh, ETA 0702, and the next will be Bowler. So after Kital is Bowler, and it will send uh, also the speed we are uh, maintaining, which is Mach decimal 83, and our destination uh, time, uh, which is uh, 0947 UTC. So I'll just send them. so they know when they can expect us at position in Quito. So now we got a message uh, from Mumbai that um, ATC is requesting our estimate to position PIPGU. So we just need to accept the message. And once the message is accepted, uh, we just uh, will go to the same uh, page we showed before, the position report, and the only thing we need to do is uh, bring BIPGO to the position we want, and automatically the system will give us the estimated uh, to BIPGO. So now it's accepted. So I just exit the info. Cancel. We go to ATC, and we can go again to position report, 
we will look for position bibgo and we just need to bring bingo to here and it's telling us now bibgo we estimate it at 0905 and next position is lelem so i just need to put after bibgo our next it's lelem and send it back to mumbai okay so uh, in about 10-15 minutes from now we're about to enter the ETAP sector uh, like Carolina explained earlier it's basically when we we are more than an hour away from from a uh, airport so normally what happens when, when we fly to a destination is that uh, we have on route alternates uh, these alternates are basically for uh, in case of any emergencies, uh, not necessarily with the aircraft, it could, it could be a passenger emergency or a medical emergency or anything like that. Uh, we have predefined alternates along the route, and uh, we, we, these are one of the things that we check at the uh, dispatch before we come to the aircraft. We make sure that the weather is good at all of these alternates, good enough for us to land. Uh, uh, and then uh, the, the now the the part with the e tops, uh, the critical thing with it is that we are we no longer have these alternates as frequently as we would like. So we would be more than an, uh, an hour away. Like for today's flight, once we pass this green circle, basically, this is the direction we're coming in, flying into that that direction. Once we pass that green circle. We are more than one hour away from an airport. And the next time we would be within an hour is is going to be once we enter this green circle. So in cases like this, uh, what dispatch does for us is that they plan suitable ETOPS uh, airports. Now these these airports are, uh, are uh, what we call ETOPS alternates. These aircrafts most jet aircrafts, uh, are, well, not most jet aircrafts, but this this one at least, we are qualified for ETOPS, uh, that's extended twin engine uh, operations. To get those qualifications, they need to be uh, aircraft certifications, crew qualifications, company approvals, and uh, of course QCA approvals as well. Once all of that's done, they they do approve us to go further than 60 minutes uh, to go to an a destination that uh, to have an alternate that's further than 60 minutes from from us and uh, before we enter these kind of ETOPS uh, segments we have a few things that we go through we we make sure that the alternates that were planned on the ground are still suitable because of course weather is very dynamic it could be clear skies you know at, at six in the morning at nine in the morning you get there and it's uh, completely the opposite so before we actually get into that ETOP segment, we, we first check for the weather, make sure that the alternate is still uh, good for us, still suitable. If if not, we decide on another alternate uh, that, that is more suitable for us. Apart from that, we also have uh, aircraft certifications. Our aircrafts, uh, we, we need to have certain things working on the aircraft to enter these segments. And these things are basically redundancies uh, for the aircraft systems. Uh, because it's such a critical phase of the flight, we, we want to make sure that if something important or something uh, very critical fails in, the, in one of the aircraft systems, that we have a backup, maybe a backup to the backup. So this way we, we're very, very safe, let's say, uh, when we are at that uh, uh, segment of the flight. Because the last thing we want is to add a problem on top of a problem. And that's that's the basic idea of, of it all. So right now, we do have the weather for, for all our uh, alternates. What they planned us for today is uh, Sana in Yemen and Mumbai in uh, India. Those are two ETOPS alternates. We do have the weather. Uh, as of now, it is looking good, so we can enter the ETAPS uh, segment of this flight. Aircraft is good as well. And uh, another thing is we are both qualified. And uh, 
That's it. That's all I can think of. Yeah, that's everything. So once we enter, we will just cross-check with the flight plans. Yeah. The time we enter and the fuel remaining. So we do every uh, waypoint we, the captain has introduced for the ETOPS. approaching to Male. We are um, just a few uh, minutes, like 15 minutes to actually 20, to leave the airspace uh, with uh, Mumbai. We are approaching position SMIT, which is over here. And the position before SMIT is just our last uh, part of our ETOP sector. And at position BIPGO, which is just over here, it's the entry point with uh, Maldivian airspace. And it looked like we might have uh, some weather in our descent. We can see also here what it shows here on our iPad. That might uh, be there. And if we can uh, look outside, we can see actually there is some uh, weather outside. Um, uh, so now we will start with our copic preparation in order to get uh, ready for our approach. And later on, uh, the captain will give us a briefing for the arrival. And it's like one hour and ten minutes to land in Maldives. Junkie, we are approaching uh, Bitgo, actually estimating Bitgo at 0907, level 350. SRHC here, identified is 350 from Bitgo for direct to Mike Mac 002. And then to call for a listening approach with you. From this go direct to Mike, Mike 02 for the ILS runway 36, Katari um, 8 Junkie. So now we. Next station goes to Mike, Mike, con uh, climb flight level 410. Strategy climb flight level 410. Right. So once uh, we put the arrival, I can put this Mike, Mike uh, 02. About to put this for us. The arrival for the runway, you can put it arrival. Uh -huh. The LLM3 Alpha. Oh, he didn't give us a. No, he just gave a direct to one way point. So once we put uh, that one, two, uh, uh, it will be for runway 36. Zulu. And I will put the mic, mic 002. He gave us direct to this one. So that looked quite right. Yeah. I just execute. Execute. Okay, so uh, if you're happy and you've checked everything, yeah. if you're ready, I'll give you a brief. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so he's uh, giving us radar back to, well, he's cleared us direct to that waypoint, so there's no uh, arrival for today. Uh, we're expecting to fly the ILS Yankee 3-6, which is off uh, chart 11-2, effective 17th of June. Check. Localizer frequency is 108.7, final approach course is 002. That's checked. Uh, platform altitude 2,000 feet at 6.3 miles. Minimums 250 for CAT-1 approach set on both sides. Check. Elevation is 6 feet. And uh, MSA is 1,500 feet. Let's check. Okay, so it's going to be a three-degree descent all the way to the minimums. In case of a misapproach, we're going to hit Toga. Call go around flaps 20. Once we're going upwards, raise the gear and uh, climb 4,000 feet. Climb straight ahead and then track uh, 002 to Urdu. Check, 4,000 there. Right. After... Uh, Landing off of 3.6, according to the new procedure, what they want, we, I'm not expecting to do backtrack anymore. So we're expecting to make it right on Delta 3 on the parallel uh, taxiway. And then uh, most probably come down to Delta 7, hold short of the runway, get the clearance. Once uh, we cross the runway, to Bravo 8, then we take one of those stands. It's normally, like you said before, 
uh, Alpha 10, Alpha 11, one of those are there. Okay, mm -hmm. um, that's all of the charts for Part C. Reti is not uh, allowed on this uh, destination, so we don't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a note saying uh, I list uh, black puppies. slope uh, fluctuations. So, if that happens today, if we are visual with it, then I will continue visual on the puppies. Yep. If not, if at any time we're unsure of uh, position, we go around and uh, ask for another type okay. of approach. Okay. Uh, it says all approaches ang this an angle are not coincident with the puppies, so that's another threat for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, 180 turns only performed at the runway ends. I don't expect to do that. Taxway markings and signs have been reported as baited and difficulties. Other than that, so that's that's part C. On the no times, I didn't really see anything affecting us. It, it, again, it talks about the glide slope. Uh -huh. uh, there are two taxiways that are renamed, the Bravo 1 and Bravo 2. So it still says Bravo 1 and Bravo 2 on the chart. Uh -huh. As per the no time, it's uh, golf and foxtrot now. So Bravo 1 is golf, Bravo 2 is foxtrot. Okay. I have a note of that on, on my side, so just in case uh -huh. that's what they call it now. Um, that's all on the charts. Terrain, there's no terrain again. Sea level. Weather, we do have weather, and we're going to have weather all the way from mm. uh, top to center, all the way to touchdown. Yeah. We do have strong crosswinds going up to 35 knots with rain. Uh, I've taken that into performance for the braking action. It doesn't affect us. We're still fine with auto brakes 3. I'll use the reverse just consistent with the problem, but the plan, if it's uh, contaminated or if there's heavy rain or anything like that, I'll use full reverses. If needed, then I'll go back to idle robots. Sure. What else? Uh, operationally, they have nothing really uh, out of the ordinary over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only thing I saw was the parking stands. They have uh, the swing span limitations on a lot of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, from what I remember, when you taxi over there, the, the aircrafts are very close on, on, they are, on, the, yes. on the right side. They are. So it says that anytime ATC or we are not comfortable, we shut we down the engines and we request for them to tow us sure. close. I don't yeah. remember they were going to that uh, extreme, but we do have that on, on yeah. our side if needed. Sure. And, uh, that's it. I did the performance. We are fine with the uh, auto brakes 3. That is the plan. If for whatever reason, if the weather is too bad and we need auto brakes four, then uh, performance is done for that also, and we are fine. And all of us, all of this is done without reverses. Yeah. So with reverses, we're definitely okay with it. And uh, the threats over here, the mainly, is going to be the weather. Yeah. Uh, the crosswinds, high crosswinds, rains, which is going to affect the visibility as well. And uh, it is also busy over here in Maldives. I think that's about it. Is there anything that I missed? Uh, no, anything you mentioned like everything. Just later on, if there's standing water, we, we need to put it in a tag log. Apart yeah. from that, nothing else. Okay. Uh, I think maybe after this one, we... Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, All right, so I have no questions. Okay. In that case, uh, the sun checklist, please. Recall, we have the hydraulic presses that we know. Check. And this and checklist, recall is checked. Notes. No notes. Checked. Auto brake. Three. Landing data. We have 3143 bar 250. We have 3143 bar 250. Approach briefing. Complete. This and checklist complete. Check. Can you tell him we need further right up to, uh, further? Yeah, he said you are clear to deviate to ah, the left. Okay. Okay. He didn't give us uh, Balls. So this All
So right now what's going on is uh, we've planned for an ILS approach in, uh, in uh, Maldives. They do have some weather uh, reported at the airport with uh, high strong winds and also with, uh, uh, sorry, with high uh, cross winds and also with uh, some rain. Uh, we also do have some weather en route. That's not this right now. It's not too bad. We're just deviating around it uh, to keep it as comfortable as possible for, for the passengers and for us. Um, yeah, that's that's what we're doing right now. Gatari eight King K contact Mali approach one one nine at decimal seven. One one nine at decimal seven. Gatari eight Yankee King K. Cabin ready, is checked. Yeah, check. Approach uh, very good afternoon, Kitari 8 Yankee, crossing level 181, descending 150. Kitari 8 Yankee, approach identified, descent to 7000 feet, QNH 1010. Descent 7000 with QNH 1010, Kitari 8 Yankee. 7000 feet, sir. Check. It doesn't look too bad, huh? No, it doesn't. Not on the sums at least, just rain and stuff. Uh, approaching transit QNH. QNH 1010 is set and cross checked. 010 is set cross checked. Approach checklist. Approach checklist, altimeters. 1010, set and cross checked. Approach checklist complete. Checked. All flight load change. That's checked. 240 knots. Ten thousand. Checks. I'm out of radios. I have radios. I'm back with you, PA is done. Landing review, please. So we will be clear for the ILS Yankee runway three six. The ILS uh, frequency for India Mike uh, Lima it's 108.7 with a bomb uh, final approach curve of 002. Baro minima is set uh, for 250 complete. Safari H Yankee descent to 4000 feet cleared ILS Yankee approach from the 36. Descent 4000 clear for the ILS Yankee runway 36. Safari H Yankee. Okay, descending 4000 feet. Mm. So, landing review completed. Yes, sir. One. Speed check, flaps one. Qatari 8 Yankee, uh, can you track direct to Mike Mike 543? Confirm Mike Mike 43, Qatari 8 Yankee. Qatari yeah. 8 Yankee, FM, can you track direct to Mike Mike 543? Yeah, right. Are you able? Our friends are, we can. Qatari 8 Yankee. Qatari 8 Yankee, Richard, turn left direct Mike Mike 543, descend to 2000 feet, clear Dallas Yankee, runway 36. This is 2000 direct my mic 543 clear for the ILS Yankee runway 36, Qatar 8 Yankee. Okay, descent 2000 feet. Confirm. Uh, 2000 set, flaps 5. Speed check, flaps 5. I'll keep the speed. 
Ja. Body approach, take over Charlie. Take off Charlie, my approach. No, oh, Charlie, uh, requesting 4,500 to La Meridian on our departure. Take off Charlie, going 4,500 feet. 4,500 feet, take over Charlie. Speed check, flat 15. Strong 30 knot tail wind almost, so we'll bring the speed back a little earlier. Yeah. Watch, uh, grab that one back to the Face for 264, switch. Out of 1,600 feet, climb and unwind 6,000 feet, copy 7472. Sky 7264, approach and point, climb level 140, turn left direct to Atisa. Left to Atisa, 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 Atisa,
Five three, roll out flare up. Let's check. One thousand stable. Sure. Autopilot coming off. Check. Fly director. Check. One thousand. Good afternoon, guys. Zero four four. Go ahead, zero four four. I'm here starting one engine and I expect a delay. Five hundred. Fire expect. Expect that. Don't think. Good afternoon, guys. Minimums. Checked. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Speed break up. Reverse are normal. Hotel Scratch of 244, good afternoon, request taxi, yeah, fully ready. Go ahead, 244, push back and start the proof and wait, it's been stopped. We'll start up road and wait, please, it's right here, hold on. So this is the... the Still further four. away. Okay. 60 knots. Request taxi, fully ready. Auto brake. Line of inspection, Bravo 3 departure and wait. Section Bravo 3 departure and the line up under 36, Sky Shop 244. Gatari 8, Yankee, vacate by Delta 3, taxi to holding point, Delta 7. Vacate by Delta 3, holding um, wrong way, uh, sorry, and hold short Delta 7, Gatari 8, Yankee. So Delta 3 and then we taxi to Delta 7, sure. and right is clear. Camera on, please. There you go. Sky Shepherd 264, join point, climb level 140, turn left direct to Atisa. Left turn Atisa, Sky Shepherd 264. In my side as well with correct sensing. Okay. Once we turn in bond, I'll have the approach. Sure. Pretty ultimate alive. Sky of Juliet, five seven miles, the same for that one. Roger, out of the run. Okay, we have the current sensing, clear for the approach. Localizer glides were pumped. That's checked. Airport Speed out. Checked. checked. Capture. Checked. Run right inside. Let's check. Katari 8 Yankee, establish on the localizer 36. Katari 8 Yankee, contact tower 181. Contact tower 1181, Katari 8 Yankee, good day. Valley tower, very good afternoon. Katari 8 Yankee, establish on the localizer runway 36. Get down, flaps 20. Cure on speed check, flaps 20. That's have captured. Check. 4,000. That's check. 
Mali Tower, very good afternoon. Qatari 8 Junkie, Stalis on the ILS 36. Qatari 8 Junkie, Mali Tower, land on the 362907. Clear to land on runway 36, Qatari 8 Junkie. Alright, clear to land. Okay, speed is set. Checked. What was the wind again? Can you ask her? Yeah. Two nine zero eight knots. Two nine zero eight. Check landing checklist. Landing landing checklist complete. Checklist complete. Thank you. So it's supposed to wind off. Yeah. <laughs> Flat three roll out flare arms. Let's check. Two nine zero One thousand stable. Check. Autopilot coming off. Check. Flight director. Check. One Good afternoon, go ahead, 044. Go ahead, 044. I'm here starting one engine and uh, expect a delay. Five, control, file, expect. Expect a short delay. One hundred. Minimums. Continue. Checked. Two nine zero eight. Check. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Speed break up. Reverse are normal. Hotel Scratch of 244, good afternoon, request taxi, we are fully ready. Go ahead, 044, push back and start the proof and we are just press stop. We'll start up road and we are speed 6, right here, for now. So this is the other... Still further four. away. Okay. 60 knots. Request taxi, fully ready. Auto break. Line of inspection, Bravo 3 departure and we are still... 6 and Bravo 3 departure, and the line of under 36, Scratch of 244. Gatari 8 Yankee, vacate by Delta 3, taxi to only point Delta 7. Vacate by Delta 3, hold deep and runway, uh, sorry, and hold short Delta 7, Gatari 8 Yankee. So Delta 3 and then we taxi to Delta 7, sure. and right is clear. Camera on, please. There you go. So Delta 3 and then So we just continue uh, turn right and we hold short Delta 7 which is at the end. Okay. And right is all clear. Very clear the actually no we can yeah. do it here. Thank you. Skies of two four four and we're here six thousand feet two eight zero seven knots and we're three six swift take off. So door is model.
Shutdown checklist, uh, parking brake. Parking brake is set. Shutdown checklist is completed. Checked. Thank Fair you enough. very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Captain. Thank you Thanks. so much for seeing us online, and we hope to see you in one of our flights uh, very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a pleasure having you all on board. And uh, like Carolina said, we hope to see you again on one of our other flights. Thank you.